Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be showing you how I install my Texture Crush clip-ins. Yes, I finally get to wear clip-ins again, and my hair is going to be all one color, so I'm excited about that. But if you are interested, definitely keep watching. So as you can see, my hair has been twisted up and set the night before. What I did was simply twist the back, and I'll show you guys that in a few. And then I just twisted the sides. Well, not really the sides, but my leave out. Um, and I didn't leave out too, too much, but I left out enough where it would still kind of blend easily and you wouldn't see the clip-in combs. Um, so like I mentioned, I am using my Texture Crush clip-ins. This is the Coil Crush and this is 14 inches and I got two packs. Um, and the reason why I got two packs is because I love my hair to be super big and super full. Um, that's just always been a thing for me. I just love full hair. So I decided to get two packs and um, I bought it right off their website. Super easy to do. This hair is super easy to color. So if you are looking to, um, you know, jazz up your clip-ins and you don't want to rock the natural black color, then you can definitely, um, you know, process this hair it does not damage the curl pattern it will alter the curl pattern of course because you are using chemicals on it but um the curl is still there and it takes the color very well i've used this clip-ins for who knows how long now and um i've never been at the point where my hair color was actually my natural color but i've always had like a blonde or like a coppery color so this is exciting for me but i have colored the hair before and it definitely took well and it lasted long um i will say with this hair i experienced a little bit of shedding um you know it's nothing too crazy compared to other brands that i've seen and heard but um you will experience some form of shedding but it's just nothing crazy um the curl pattern is like super tight i love that when I'm washing it and I add my conditioner, well, even before I add the conditioner, the curls are like super tight on its own. So even if you don't wanna add product to it, you don't have to. For this, I washed it once and then I um, put conditioner, left it for maybe like two minutes, not nothing crazy. And then um, after I rinsed it, I only sprayed leave-in conditioner. I didn't use any product at all. So to say it's like super um, curly and I only used like one product and I didn't even use a lot of it, um, it's definitely taking the curl really well. So I'm excited about that. I think that's enough insight for this video. Literally all I need is my clip-ins. I already twisted my hair like I mentioned, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that down. Um, and then an afro pick to create some volume. So now that we have our background on the steps I will be doing, let's just get right into it. So for my actual hair now, I used two products. For the back, since that's going to be tucked away and under the clip-ins, I, after I washed my hair, I did not apply any leave-in conditioner. The only product that I used, well, products that I used were castor oil, a little bit of that, and then I used my As I Am, yeah, As I Am, sorry, um, double butter cream. And the reason I like that is because it's thick in consistency, it moisturizes my hair, it defines my hair. So I figured, you know what, I need to be able to set my hair properly underneath the clip-in. So that's the process I did for that part. Now for the front now, I did not use the um, double butter cream. I instead decided to use a little bit of castor oil and then use my Cantu Curl Activator Cream. Um, I didn't use a lot of that because I didn't want to oversaturate the hair, but I also made sure I used a generous amount so that it sets well by the time I'm unraveling the hair. As you can see, I did the twist pretty, not super small, but a good size where it would blend in with the clip-ins because I didn't want to do them too, too small and then it doesn't line up and I didn't want to do it super big. So now I'm going to start with 
clipping in the clippings to the back and then by the time I have my hair full then I'll start to take down uh, my leave out. shape looks cute um, I'm gonna go ahead and of course create volume once I get the whole style together so now we can proceed with taking down our actual leave out okay so of course my hair does what it wants to do and I feel like although it was stretched it wasn't fully stretched all the way so it kind of looks weird to me to y'all it may not or to you guys it may look weird too um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and just pin like you can see here you see how like this is my hair and then the actual hair is like kind of i don't know so i might put in some more clippings underneath it to kind of like even out this little weird area here but what i'm gonna do is i'm going to pin both sides down the best I can and um, then I'll sort out that issue. So this is my final look. I'm absolutely in love with how the fro looks. Now off camera what I went and I did, I was just taking clips out, rearranging them. I put some clips in between my leave out. Um, I pinned this side because this side was just not cooperating at all. So that's why we got this cute little situation over here. And then I went in and I used my afro pick to create volume because at first I wanted to leave it um, somewhat that like, I guess not wet look, but somewhat that wet look. And what I noticed is that my real hair wasn't blending too well with that wet look. So by going in and creating that volume, it helped to even out the areas that were like a little short. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but like right here is where my real hair is. So it's a little short because it's not fully stretched. Um, but I, with a little bit of rearranging the clip-ins, like the shorter pieces, I was able to kind of pick it out and blend it in a little bit better. So it's still not ideal for me, but it will do. I don't want to create any more frizz um, within the clip-ins itself, so I'm happy with how it looks. How I'm going to preserve this at night, I pretty much will use like one of those big um, like scrunchies, the ones that like stretch super big. And I'm just going to pull the hair back. I'm not going to double tie it. I'm just going to like let it sit like that. Um, if you don't have one of those scrunchies, you can use like a headband that stretches super um, wide. Anything you have that allows you to have like a loose kind of hold because you don't want to create any imprint on the hair itself. But I'm just going to pull the hair back and then I either use my bonnet and stuff everything in there or I sleep on a satin pillowcase which I think I might do because this hair may not fit in my bonnet. When I wake up the next day I pretty much separate the leave out and because I do not want to wet the hair and then once I separate the leave out I will use my um, spray bottle with water and just lightly mist over the clippings because I do not want them to be super soaked and then once it's like fully mi misted missed it once it's like whatever you know what i mean once i spray it i will let it air dry for a little bit and then go back in and create a little bit of volume but not too much because obviously the more volume over the course of the days the more frizz you're gonna have so i just lightly do that but pretty much yeah that's my process for reviving the curls the next day and also my process for how i preserve it at night I hope you guys tried this out. I absolutely love this hair and I told y'all I love me some big hair. The bigger the better. So I'm just like so excited to see over the course of the, the, the week how this hair is going to be. 
Um, but definitely try this out. All the info for Texture Crush will be in the description area. So if you are looking for new clip-ins from a brand to try, definitely try them out. They have not disappointed me yet. And give this video a major thumbs up. Ugh. Give this video a major thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you're gonna try this routine. Also, if you're new to my channel or you have not yet subscribed, overall, just subscribe to my channel. Just do it, like, just do it, stay with me. Um, but thanks for watching, guys, and as always, I appreciate y'all. Bye.